So uh, what I've got right now are two pages, the dynamic PHP pages that connect to and to a MySQL database, and uh, they both have the same connection string at the top of the page, which is this little area here, lines two to four. So if I have a look on the other page there, you can see I've got exactly the same uh, connection string. Now um, this is all well and good. You can obviously build that into a template in Dreamweaver and then every time you create a new page it will have this stuff. The um, the problem is though that when you update templates in Dreamweaver they don't actually update the uh, head content. Now um, what that means is if you make a change to this, say for example you're working on a testing server and then you decide to go live, uh, you would have to go through and change these settings here. So right now you know, I've got my username and password and uh, the database to select. Well they those will likely be different on your live website. So uh, it'll be a bit of a hassle to go back and change every page by hand. So um, what we're going to do is use a much more efficient way of coding this and it's called an includes file. Now what that essentially means is we're actually going to remove those three lines and put them into their own PHP file and then have a line of code here that calls that file and um, basically integrates the code back into this page. The advantage of this is that the code is then in one place only, so if you need to update it, you only need to update one page. So uh, what I'm going to do is just create a new new page, um, new PHP and create, and um, I'll just get rid of all the stuff in here, and I'm just going to copy and paste that into this other page here. Right, um, and I'm just going to chuck those PHP tags around it. Now when I save this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it in its own folder. So here I am in my um, root folder. I'm just going to create a new folder for it um, and I'm going to call this folder includes. Now the reason for this is um, as you uh, I guess get more proficient with this stuff, you might actually find you use um, includes files for a range of things, not just the database connection. Um, for example, you could use it for the navigation bar because you know, if the navigation is going to be the same on every page, why not use it as an includes file? That way you could modify navigation on all pages by changing just one file. So it can, again, it can be an efficient way of maintaining your code. So anyway, inside my includes folder, I'm going to save this as db for database connect.php. There we go. So I'll save that. Now um, what I need to do is now go back to my other pages and I'm just going to remove those three lines of code and replace them with include. Notice Dreamweaver colors it green to tell me I've done it right so far. And then in brackets, speech marks, um, I'm just going to give the path to that file. So um, there's the folder which I called includes slash and inside that is the name of the file. And then I just close my speech marks, close the bracket and as always in my line with a semicolon and save that. Then I'll just copy that line and go to my other page and just paste it over the top of that existing code. So now what I have is obviously a lot less content but also I have uh, a single line that will actually call this page called dbconnect.php um, and then it goes and grabs this code integrates it back into the page and runs it as usual so uh, that is how you use an includes file just remember though when you do upload it over here on the file structure you'll need to upload the pages themselves but you'll also need to um, create that folder there on your web server. So the folder called includes and upload that db connect file into that. So uh, there you have it, an includes file.